Good morning. Welcome to day six of the Baja Divide Cape Loop. We are leaving uh, a little village called El Triumfo. And hopefully we're heading where, Eric? La Ventana. La Ventana, which will be put us back on the Sea of Cortez uh, on the uh, east coast of the Baja Peninsula. So with all luck, uh, that will happen today. It's a little far for us to ride in a day. And we are currently, uh, we've just left town and we're currently on a, a new track. A new track or new, new uh, Baja Divide discovery. So we left the uh, official route yesterday because it followed pavement and then um, uh, sort of cut out El Triunfo, which is a cool town. So we wanted to go there. So we are navigating uh, out of the town and gonna sort of hopefully hook up with the route again. Um, in about six, seven miles from here. Uh, but we we're on uh, unproven ground. We're on a um, sort of a dirt track. It looks like from uh, uh, using um, uh, Google, sort of Google Earth, it looked like there was a road. So that's what we're doing. And our fingers crossed. And uh, you guys are going to be seeing this a lot later, but it is St. Patrick's Day today. So happy Sorry. belated St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. Um, hopefully the uh, luck of the Irish is with us. My name is Michael Ladin. After visiting over 120 countries on five continents, I made the bold decision to sell all of my possessions and become a full-time nomad more than four years ago. Currently, I am traveling in my self-built ex-Army Overland Expedition truck, complete with a KTM motorbike, bicycles, kayak, a one wheel, and all the essentials needed to explore this incredible planet we call home. Join me as I share my adventures and stories from around the world. Heading out from the Cactus Sanctuary. Gracias, adios. I do too. So big, remember, big is fat. So fat should be going in the the middle of the chain. Yep, and that's what it looks like it's doing. Okay. Hola! <laughs> Hola! All right, we made it a mile down the road here, and Eric's gearing is no good. So we've micro-adjusted the garbage out of it. That's not working. Making our way up unexplored territories right now. Boy, does it smell good out here, though? It smells fantastic. I do not what know. That, I don't know what that bush is, but Ooh, I wouldn't mind having that in the living room. It smells nice. One thing I'm trying to kind of show you guys here today is even if you've got a map of Baja, which uh, I recommend Benchmark Maps is sort of a really the best map you can find, paper map. It's amazing that there are so many places that look like they're inaccessible and there's nothing there. Yet I have found from experience there are roads like this everywhere. Well, this is somewhat unexpected. This may not go down as one of our better moves. I yeah, call this adventurous route. Looks like there might be a road up here. I'm hoping. Maybe not. Definitely a trail. Oh boy. 
was a fake. That wasn't so successful. We're back in the Arroyo. We got more problems now. We veered off from the blue thing a little bit. I didn't see it up there, but it feels like we should be still up there. And I got Karoo telling me to go right. I don't know if we're supposed to be in this. I feel like we're supposed to be up there. Maybe he'll tell us where to go. I don't know, Eric. I don't, I don't, we're not, we're just doing something wrong here. Something wrong here. There's a lot of cows. Chains off. Nothing up there, right? I don't know. Is this a road? It's just been long abandoned. Much more than a hiking trail at best. At best. here big time We got a house here of some kind. I don't think there's anybody living here, however. That would be a negatory. Abandoned. This seems like a major road after that. This trail has been, um, let's just say, a little rough. And uh, Eric is now had a little bike problem. He's dislodged the uh, one of his panniers on the back and smacked into the spoke. So he's trying to repair that back up this trail. We're going down right now. We're kind of heading uh, towards a little village called San Blas. And we're hoping that in about a quarter mile, we're going to intersect with a um, somewhat more major road. This is not, uh, you might be able to tell from looking at this, spin around this way um it's pretty rough terrain out here uh it looked like from the top we had a view down i couldn't really tell with all the bushes but it kind of looked like we might have seen our first glimpse of the sierra cortez it looked like it was down towards los planas and la ventana but i uh, can't completely verify that um the other problem i got going on here is uh bleeding pretty much everywhere because the um, overgrowth uh, down here in the desert, every single thing is 
dangerous to touch. Did a leprechaun try to rip your bag off? It sure did. <laughs> it did a pretty good job. <laughs> Oh, is it not lined up again? Not lined up and it ripped off the strip of the bottom. I'll tie it back on. And a zip tie it. Here's some duct tape. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do a zip tie and I'm gonna try to secure I mean, the good news is the weather is beautiful. The land is beautiful. Those cactuses. Not looking as navigable. Oh boy. Oh, there's a cow. Oh boy. Oh, there's a road over there. Yeah, San Blas. Definitely can't go well. I mean, right. They're gonna be like, how did you guys get here? Straight or left? Okay. I say we ride. We are now back onto a somewhat navigable road. Still sure that we're going where we're trying to go, but we're not on a map. The question is, does it stay like this or does it disappear back into a Jeep show again? Do not know. All right, we have come out our little cut across from uh, El Trianfo back onto the Baja Divide route. I'll tell you, that was no joke. <laughs> that was, that was, a sh it was not a shortcut by any stretch of the imagination, but it was uh, adventurous routing for sure. Rancho Los Divisaderos. Coming into the village. Peanut butter, chia seeds, tortilla. Lunch of champions. Yes, it is. All right, we crested the hill and we're heading down towards Los Planes now. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty downhill from here, but we don't know what the conditions are. What do you got there, Mike? Oh, my knife that flew off my bike. Got it coming down this steep ravine coming into the Arroyo. Yeah. Ah, so. but I felt my, it hit my foot luckily, so that's all I know. The great downhill luge is not materialized. <laughs> Much for that theory.
going along here. It's certainly a fun downhill luge, and now we're battling a bunch of sand. But uh, it's a beautiful day. The wind is picking up as we get closer to the coastline. I don't know what happened here. Oh, wow. A bunch of dead cows over here. Very interesting. And here are amazing. I mean, all sorts of different kinds. It's just all cactuses. The other thing I'm wondering is, there's a lot of cows we've just passed. You gotta wonder, with the temperature as hot as it is, and it's not even summertime, standing outside here all the time, it's dry as anything. And all it is is cactus. What on earth do they eat? La Ventana. Ooh. Oh. All right, guys, we have made it from the Sea of Cortez on the east side yes. to the Pacific and back to the Sea of Cortez. So across the peninsula and back, you can see behind us. We are in La Ventana on the windy beach, but uh, it's beautiful. And we found this little glamping resort uh, these glamping tents, similar to what we had over in Todos Santos, but um, pretty cool. Nicer, 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 right on the beach, and um, they got their own little bathroom, too, so it's gonna be cool. Looking good. I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. And did you know you can join for as low as five bucks a month for exclusive behind the scenes Drive the Globe content? Thanks for joining me today. I really hope that you liked this video. And if you did, give a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video.